So we're going to talk about magnetic fields. And so these are going to look very similar in some ways to electric fields. And so again, we're going to be drawing out of one and into the other. So for electric fields, it was out of the positive into the negative. So now we have north-south poles, and so we'll see how the fields interact with those. So first, um, magnetic fields move from north to south. So here you can see on a bar magnet, you see the magnetic field coming out of the north and going into the south. So from north to south. It's strongest at the poles, where those field lines are really close together, weakest in the center. And so you can actually see from these field lines, you can see that there's not really much going on in the middle. That's why if you try to stick something to a magnet in the middle, nothing's going to happen. Instead, it's going to stick to the north and stick to the south. In a horseshoe magnet, the same idea happens. This is just a bar magnet that's been bent into a U. It's still going to go from north to south. So north to south. These fields are what exert the force. Again, just like electrical fields. Electrical fields are what created electrical forces. Those forces of attraction, forces of repulsion. Same thing is happening here. It's the magnetic fields that are creating the forces. So this is why objects can be attracted to the poles, is because that's where it's getting that maximum force experienced by the field. Field is strongest at poles, force is strongest at the poles. And so here um, you can actually see a bar magnet. Here's our north our North Pole and our South Pole. North is always denoted by red. And you can see these are iron filing. And anything that is ferromagnetic will line up with the magnetic field of a magnet. So this magnet has a field going around it. And what you see are the, um, the iron filings lining up with this field. And again, they're going from north and looping to the south from north looping to the south. And you can see that the iron filings are more attracted to the ends than they are to the center. Again, strongest at the poles. What you can also see is we have some compasses here. So just like we were talking about before, if a compass is brought near a magnetic field, it will line up with that magnetic field. If the strongest field is the Earth, then it will point to the Earth's north, north Pole. If it has another magnet near it that is relatively stronger, now these compasses are lined up to point to the North Pole of the magnet. So it will always align with the strongest magnetic field. That's why you can see these compasses are creating that line, again, that the iron filings were doing before. So then how do um, the magnetic field lines look whenever you have these interactions, opposite poles and like poles? Well, these pictures should look very familiar. So remember, opposite, opposite charges had that from positive to negative arcing that was going on between them. Same thing happens here. These two are being pulled together. You can see the lines pulling them together going from north to south. Then with our like poles, these happen to be two norths, you can see that the fields are pushing against each other. They don't want to interact, so they're pushing against each other, causing these to repel. Now in terms of being able to draw these kinds of things, you will need to be able to draw them with arrows, and we will do that in class. So don't worry about having to draw these right now. Just keep in mind what these look like, so when we get to drawing them, you can just add in the arrows.